Um, all right, so Lori says, on June 21st, I gave my two Pfizer jab neighbors who've been suffering. Uh, okay, so I think you have two Pfizer jab neighbors. You've been suffering because you've been breathing in their exhaled air. I, I'm not sure what, what the, it's kind of jumbled here. Um, Oh, am I now jabbed because I've been breathing in their exhaled air uh, in my car? Is shedding just as bad as getting the two shots myself? Uh, no, it's not as it's not just as bad. Absolutely not. Um, you know, some people call this like a self-spreading vaccine. Like other people are getting vaccinated from other people from people who got vaccinated. That's not the case. You're not getting vaccinated from other people. Um, you you are being exposed to spike protein, right? So um, what they're doing is they're shedding probably the way it works is they're shedding little um, spherules, little lipid nanoparticles, perhaps, you know, lipid bilayer, a lipid bilayer sphere, which is a lipid nanoparticle. So when, when they get jabbed, it goes into their body, it, you know, reprograms a cell to create spike protein. And then the spike protein is released by that cell into the environment inside of these, uh, stuck to the surface of these little tiny spheres, right, um, of lipid. Um, and and that is might be released in their breath and on their sweat and stuff like that. And so you're being exposed to spike protein, right? So it's kind of like being exposed to a COVID virus particle, except it doesn't multiply. So you're not getting the DNA with it and it's not gonna infect your own cells. It's not gonna transfect your own cells the way the vaccine does and make them make spike protein. So you don't turn to a spike protein factory from shedding. And so it's usually a very short term problem. And, and basically just most people, when they, if they get exposed to it and then they go away, they, they don't have a problem anymore within like a day to a couple of weeks, their problem goes away just because they stop being exposed to it. And some people might have a longer, you know, time getting over it, but uh, it's not that bad. You take some natokinase kind of peptase and try to avoid um, exposure as much as possible or build your own resilience so that that tiny amount of spike protein coming from shedding doesn't um, affect you anymore. And you've optimized your body's ability to detoxify from it in real time while it's being exposed. So it is possible to um, up your game and, and not be harmed by even by shedding. Uh, 